Welcome to another episode of the Vegas and Joe Money Flow Show, everyone. Thank you for joining us again. Today we're going to review the last week's picks, which was Starbucks and Tesla. And then we have a new pick for you this week, which is General Motors. So let's talk about Starbucks because let me tell you, this thing's not that hot. No wonder it says cool new brew because that's really what's happening with the stock. So I'm going to turn it over to Josie and uh, talk to us a little bit what's going on with Starbucks because, you know, when I look at this chart though on the weekly, I still see like a TTM squeeze. I still see the trying to make a move, but uh, it needs to get over uh, another level that we had from last week. So Josie, why don't you talk to us a little bit about Starbucks? Just to close this one off for now, it's still in play. Um, so let, why don't you talk to us about Starbucks? What's going on over there? Yeah, so uh, Starbucks, um, it's been a little cold. I don't like my lattes cold. Do you? I like them hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like them. I like them both, actually. But uh, in this case, I prefer Starbucks being a little hotter. That's for sure. <laughs> Well, um, well, for Starbucks, I mean, it did go to the 109. I was expecting it to break through the 110, but it didn't. It didn't. It um, was pretty much trading flat. Um, I mean, I, I still like it, you know, for the short term, for the short term. Um, but, you know, let's still give this stock a chance. Um, I think that it still has a move. We did give um, the March 17 expiration calls. So uh, we still have another three weeks on these contracts. So, I mean, the ER was good. And um, I think, um, you know, we should still see this stock move, you know, to the upside. And um, let's see what the next week or two brings with uh, Star Starbucks. And stop loss, we're still 105, correct? Yes, 105. So just okay. The Yep. Sorry, go ahead. No, just a reminder, 105 is the stop loss. So if it does trigger, then we're going to have to cut the trade. Okay. And also, you know, Josie says ER. So that's earnings report, not the emergency room. So let's go now to uh, Tesla here and talk about Tesla. Because, you know, if you guys were listening the last two weeks, and remember, when you come to listen to the Vegas and Joe Money Flow Show, bring your notepad, bring your notebook. Write this stuff down. There's no way you can memorize everything. Write it down because you're going to have some good opportunities. And if you were listening to the show last week, we talked about Tesla. And we talked about how, you know, Tesla breaks $200 again. Keep your eyes on the stock. If you actually look at Tesla, if I go to some historical data, for, and this is on Yahoo Finance, but you could see here last week on Monday, you know, Tesla had a rough day last Friday, the February 10th, two weeks ago. And then on the Monday opened up uh, 194.42. And then you could see here it ran to 196.30, but didn't make a big move. But then look what happened the next day. It broke 200 and took off to 209. So that was a big move. Okay, big move. We're talking like almost like $20 here on Tesla in one day, big volume surge. Look at that volume, 216 million. The next day there was a continuation then the next day after that, Tesla pulled back, closed at 202, so down $12 a share. And the next day opened at 199.99. But then look what happened on Friday, took off, closed at 208 to 31. Now, if you recall the video last week, we did say keep your eyes on a runner. And so we did say if Tesla breaks $200 again, you should consider getting back into the trade stop loss of 190 and if you did consider that um you would have definitely made very good money now we took tesla on friday as well uh for a day trade but i didn't call it till 205 uh shame on me i should have called it sooner because it did break 200 shortly after the open so i could have made some good money but you know what still in the trade and we're in an active swing trade uh we're actively in tesla swing trade josie which one are we in right now on tesla uh, we are in the, they're expiring February 24th. And I think, um, I don't remember the call though, the strike. But, 212.50, uh, I think it was 212.50 or 215s. Oh, 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 oh. So, 215s, I think they were. Yeah. Okay. So we're in an active swing trade. 
Uh, but let's look at what is Tesla looking to do because we're at 2831. So I wonder there could be a potential continuation on Tesla uh, tomorrow. So if Tesla was to have a continuation to the upside and nobody is currently in this trade, I love the fact that it's still holding this beautiful uh, 200, but I actually like that it's over 202.50. So why don't you tell me if, te if no one's in the trade, where would be a good spot to consider going into some calls on Tesla as a swing trade? Well, um, as a swing, swing trade, I would expect it to break 212.50. Okay. And then okay. We, we can get into some calls. Um, um, you can you can get into the the March 3rd expiration or the March 10th, but it needs to break to 1250 and um, but with a stop loss of 20250. So it's a little bit tighter than the last show, which was 190. OK, now and just to be uh, uh, transparent, we are in an active swing trade with Tesla. So, you know, if it does break, um, you know, 20 to then definitely we'll be looking to uh, you know add some new a new position to Tesla with some time on. It's going to go into maybe March third, March seventeen contracts. So definitely with a stop loss of two hundred two fifty. Okay, so that's Tesla for you. And so now let's talk about our new pick for the audience. So those of you listening, I really want you to focus on GM because you know what GM. First of all, I got to be honest, it's not really my style of car. I mean, I'm not the type that's going to say, okay, I'm going to buy a GM tomorrow because I would never buy a GM. Even if someone gave it to me free, I would never drive a GM. But I don't want to say never because I do like the Cadillac. I do like the Cadillac uh, from GM. And they do have a beautiful, beautiful Cadillac. I mean, look at this is gorgeous. I mean, not red. I don't like red. Uh, but then again, who likes red in the stock market? No one does. But I love these rims. I love cars. I'm a big car addict. Uh, but I do love uh, the um, Cadillac. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. So let's talk about General Motors actually earnings report because we want to see what's going on with the cash flow. So General Motors, obviously, you guys know Mary Barra, the CEO of the company. They did have the earnings report Jan 31st, and they had strong cash flows from the automotive operations for the calendar year, including. Net automotive cash provided by operating activity, 16 billion to 20 billion, and free cash flow, very important here, five to seven billion dollars. That is just absolutely incredible. And then you could also see here um, that they had a phenomenal presentation of their Q4 earnings. Uh, this is a really interesting car, but again, not my style. Uh, but I do love the the blue. They did talk about their guidance. You could see GM here. Uh, some of the highlights that they talked about was they're a U.S. market leader, largest uh, U.S. market share increase of any automotive manufacturer. They also talked about how they're going to be launching a redesigned Chevrolet Silverado and a GMC Sierra. They're going to also relaunch a Chevrolet Silverado electric vehicle, beginning production for commercial customers. And they're having also a new Chevrolet Colorado GMC Canyon midside pickup. I'm assuming these are the ones that they're talking about. And then we have also a strategic investment in a U.S. facilities for V8 engine production. And they also did talk about how their premium truck brand, very successful um, sales as well. So GM is definitely one to watch uh, this week. Uh, look at this. I love this color blue, though. I do love the color. I uh, just won't, wouldn't see me going in there, but I do love the blue. Oh my God, I just love this color. So let's talk about, I want to talk to you, bring this article to share with you guys as well as why we're talking about the stock. Uh, first of all, there's been a lot of money flow on General Motors, phenomenal earnings. And Tigris Financial has been pounding the table on General Motors. In particular, this guy here, Ivan Feinseth, has reiterated a strong buy on General Motors. He has been advising his clients that the stock price could double in the next year. That is just incredible. He highlights why he thinks that. He talks about how they are one of the best ways for investors 
to play the growth in both EV and autonomous vehicle technology. He also said that there is significant upside in the shares as GM's market opportunities will continue to grow and that they will see a multiple expansion as the stock starts to attribute valuations that are afforded by startups and early stage EV companies to a company that's already the world's leading automobile producer. He also said that the automaker's top spot in terms of US sales and market share gains in full size SUV and pickups bode very well for the company because they're ramping up their EV investments. And his target on the stock is around $86 um, following his buy rating, strong buy. So this is really, really important to take note of the future growth because remember, people want to invest in growth stocks. Nobody wants to invest in a stock that is dead weight. That's just not going to move. You're holding it for a whole year. Doesn't even move a dollar. GM has the potential to keep growing and growing and growing. So definitely GM is one to consider and watch on your watch list. So let's now talk about the money flow here, Josie. You could see here General Motors uh, ever since the earnings. I have been seeing some dark pool prints here. Uh, February 1st, 32 million, another 32 million on February 2nd, 25 million Feb 2nd. Um, some other little small ones like 7 million, those are pretty small. 4 million, those are pretty small. Uh, what we like to look for in the dark pool, we like to look for bigger prints like $40 million here because this is not the norm that we see with General Motors. Okay, normally we see like 4 million, 2 million, but you know, when you see 40 million, 25 million, you know, you pay, you pay more attention to these kinds of prints and look at the size here uh quantity wise uh you know stock wise they're buying 622,000 shares and uh, we are printing over this actual spot of forty dollars and eighty cents on the options flow chain you can see here we have some contracts here for the 42 calls 43 calls we have some i saw for 45 calls 46 calls as well for march 17. uh full disclosure uh, the room is currently in a swing trade with General Motors as well. It's pretty fresh. It's, it hasn't really made a move just yet. Uh, the $42 calls, uh, March 17, we paid $173. They're now at $215. And the $45 calls paid $0.58. Cents. They're now $0.73. Cents. Those are March 17 expiry. They're still valid and still in play. So, Josie, why don't you talk to us about what to look for in General Motors for a move to the upside? What are the targets we can look at? And what would be like the stop loss? Because there's some some serious aggressive uh, flow going on here. On this is Cheddar Flow, by the way. Um, and if you guys want a free trial to Cheddar Flow for seven days, I'll put I'll post the link here on YouTube for you. You can check it out for free. You can see the dark pool and and try to follow price action and uh, options flow. So Josie, what's going on with GM flow wise? So for GM, um, the targets that we're looking for, we're looking for a break over $43.50, okay? Mm -hmm. And the levels that we're going to target here is $43.75 and $44.87, a stop loss of $39.50. Okay. And those would be March 17 expiry? Correct. Okay. So you know what? Uh, I think that's going to be our pick of the week. Uh, Joseph, do you like the GM? Would you get into one of those trucks? Um, no, <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> too uh, why not? Because they're not too feminine for me. You know what, though? I will say I have driven the Cadillac XT5 and I've loved it. It was actually really nice and um, very luxurious interior and very classy. This is the only beautiful car that I think that GM does make. No insults to anyone that has a GM. I mean, if you love their cars and are very happy with it, that's great. Um, all we care about right now, we're talking about the stock. We're not here. We're not selling cars. <laughs> so, um, you know, just keep a watch on the stock and see what goes on. If you want to join us in our chat room, you're welcome to follow me at I Love Stocks One. You can join us here on Twitter. And then if you decide to join us, you can go to ilovestocks.com and you can definitely join us in the chat room. And uh, just, you know, pick a plan. If you like swing trades, then you would like Vegas Swing Special. We try to give you swing picks for the week. Uh, lot less stress. And it's uh, suitable for people that work full time that don't have time to watch their stocks. 
Um, if you like day trading actively and swing trades, momentum plays, reversal plays, then you would want Vegas Platinum. If you just want a couple day trades a day, three to four day trades a day, then go to Vegas 2.0 because that one has no audio, no news feed. It's just an a la carte plan. But if you want the action with the scanners, the audio, the news feed, me all day, then you need to go into Platinum Plan and you get your money's worth on these uh, plans here. So check us out. Come join us. If not, we look forward to seeing how General Motors performs next week. We wish you all success with this trade if it triggers. And uh, we'll see you all next week on the Vegas and Joe Money Flow Show. Joe, any last words to say before we sign off? Good luck, everyone. And uh, be sure to hit that like button and turn on those notifications. Okay, everyone. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye-bye.